Skies are mostly cloudy at this hour with a temperature of 63 degrees and also with a calm wind. Visibility is down to four miles, meaning there is some patchy fog developing in the area for your morning commute. Something to keep in mind, but temperatures currently 65 for Frankfurt, 66 in Thorntown, and then 66 around Covington as well. Plus, we have that area of high pressure still over Indiana, which that's what provided us with dry weather through the holiday weekend. We should have one last dry day before our system off to our west, which is a cold front that will move in later during the overnight hours and eventually bringing us showers and storms to start the day tomorrow. But we should say dry today. Here's a look at Precision Futurecast. We will have more clouds moving in later on this afternoon, but the rain should stay off to the west, but that will eventually approach the viewing area closer to tomorrow morning around 7 o'clock. That is our next best chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Plus, with that boundary, we'll actually linger into the area for much of the work week, meaning we have multiple chances for showers and thunderstorms in the week ahead. So this will be our last dry day, seeing mostly sunny skies for the first half of the day. 82 degrees will be the temperature around lunch and then eventually 86 by 5 o'clock this afternoon with skies turning partly cloudy later on in the evening. 85 for Delphi and Winnemag an afternoon high of 85 as well for Logansport into the upper 80s down to the southern half of the viewing area with more clouds moving in even as we approach the evening hours eventually turning mostly cloudy around midnight, temperatures dropping to around 73 degrees and eventually overnight lows in the upper 60s and lower 70s. 74 Frankfurt and Thorntown and then 68 degrees for an overnight low around Delphi. And because of those scattered showers and thunderstorms, temperatures should only rise in the mid to upper 70s for tomorrow. And then we will have an isolated threat for severe weather as that boundary does push through the state. The Storm Prediction Center has us under a a marginal risk for severe weather as that line does move through. But Futurecast has those storm chances staying in the forecast all the way through the 7 o'clock hour. Then we should have a break from the showers and storms until another round moves in by Wednesday. Around 7 o'clock, we should have overcast skies and then later on that day have another round of showers and storms. But temperatures will be much cooler. 73 degrees will be the high on Wednesday and then 76 on Thursday, slowly rising right back into the 80s on Friday. 81 degrees will be the high temperature there, 86 on Saturday with an isolated shower or thunderstorm possible. However, Saturday looks like the driest day other than today in the week ahead because of that boundary that's going to keep those storm chances in the forecast all throughout the week. And temperatures also much cooler, about 10 degrees below our average.